nanopipettes are letting us to go inside a cell without damaging it, so that we can look at the cell over time. Without an approach to cells, we can't push following the same cell and learning more and more about different aspects in the cell. We're entering another world. So right now, we could go inside the body and study the heart and study lungs. But with nanopipettes, we could go beyond that and we could go inside the cell. I'm Nader Purman. I'm professor in biomolecular engineering at the University of California in Santa Cruz. The nanopipette technology that we have developed is capable of going into the individual cells and aspirating or ejecting or sensing the very same cell over time, multiple times, as opposed to take one cell, kill the cells, and do analysis. That's the novelty of the nanopipettes that allows us to do longevity studies. In order to understand how cancer acquires resistance to certain drugs, it will be really important to going and taking a biopsy from the very same cell. There are questions in the scientific uh, audience that couldn't be answered with the conventional techniques. So with our technique, we can go and answer those questions. Our answers enables us to ask new questions. What's going on inside the cell that affects the way that the heart works? Or what goes on inside the cell that affects how cancer is developed in the body? So we're going just even deeper into the actual problem. So this kind of things is impossible with any other technologies. The only thing available today, as far as I know, is nanopipette technology. Nanopipette is made of quartz capillaries that are pulled on with a laser puller. And you'll get nanoscale aperture size, which is roughly like a thousand times smaller than the width of your hair. It's a really exciting, innovative way of looking at how cells are changing and how we can push the technology towards the unknown. In order to go to the next phase, we need your support, we need your help to continue working on this research. It's giving NIH a direction. This kind of research, public wants to support. By using this technology, we can work with other scientists in order to solve very important issues that we have for cancer, Alzheimer, Parkinson, and other diseases. We appreciate very much your help and support.